yo, you know, people say, they say I look like Owen Wilson in Bottle Rocket. And I'm like, um, I don't see it. Is it my favorite Wes Anderson? No, but I liked it. You know, it's a nice addition to his canon. You know, I thought it was derivative, like all of his movies. <laughs> I thought it was nice to see doggies like me on the big screen. Alphas, show dogs, sweeties. I mean, the movie was drenched in dog stereotypes. What are we talking about? Can I ask you a question? Are we getting food? All right, what do I think of this movie? I love dogs. Um, super good. It's I love dogs. Oh. A common critique of Anderson's work is that he puts emphasis on style rather than substance, but that denies the idea that the style can be the substance. If it makes you feel, is that not substance? I mean, come on. You could have just told people you own every Kurosawa film on Criterion, you know? You didn't need to make a group of people spend three years of their lives moving the mouth of a dog puppet one half centimeter at a time. Can I tell you what I like in terms of Isle for Dogs, though? The one, the supermarket that has my food and stuff in it for when I need to eat and stuff. It does not pass the Barkdale test. The, this, the, what is this, a clamp? The only two female dogs do not interact. One is just there to be pregnant. The other literally does tricks for a man who does not deserve her. Yo, yo, throw me that bone. It's paper, the camera, light. Person, camera, light. Still tin foil, aluminum lining? I didn't think it was scary, but there were parts that would have been scary for a puppy, which I am not. What are we talking about again? I Love Dogs, the movie. <gasps> I loved the drums. When I go to the cinema, I'm thinking, okay, how is this director, and I don't care if they're first time filmmaker, you know, well known, like Wes Anderson, how are they gonna respond to this political moment? And Wes Anderson, let's just say, he responded to this political moment. <laughs> the movie deliberately makes the Japanese human characters less sympathetic than dogs. I mean, even as a dog, I know that's bollocks. The bad guy is very mean and loud, and when the dog bit the other... I'm sorry, where's my owner? Where's my owner? Is she nearby? Hello? Yo, look who's sitting. Being a good boy. Give me food. Okay, thank you. Um, I liked the puppies at the end. They looked like porgs. Where would I rank this one? Uh, I probably put it somewhere between Moonrise Kingdom and Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, you know what? I just realized foxes are kind of dogs too. <laughs> That's funny, right? <laughs> Blair, I spit on this movie. <laughs> Oh, you don't even have any idea how good this is, though. I've been waiting to eat you for like 10 hours. What are we talking about again?